Welcome back everyone. My name is Trap. Thanks for joining my session today. I'm going to be showing you how I put certain files that are in your .config directory under source code control. I typically do this when I'm sharing a file amongst multiple computers. And today I'm going to show you how I do that with a screen key. So let's get started. So to start with, I'm going to start up a TMUX session so I can have multiple splits, so I have multiple pings going on, so I can bounce back and forth between my directories and so you can see what I'm doing on both the target directory and the source directory. So let's start off on the right left hand side and go to the git config directory. I'm not the git, but the config directory, and I'm going to run all my alias called LAS that shows you all my all my current aliases that are in my bin directory and what they point to. We're going to find in this directory there's a file called JSON. I mean, sorry, screen key JSON. That file has the current configuration that I use. The way you create that file, or the way you can create that file, is you can run screen key with a, um, a settings command. Show settings. So we're going to run that particular command. And what that's going to do is it's going to bring up a dialog on my machine and allows me to change the font. Basically, this will rewrite the JSON file every time I exit this file. So in this particular case, when I'm typing text into a window, you're going to see that it's at the very top of my new screen. So this is the polybar area of my tiling window manager. I am using VSPWM as my tiling manager. I'm using polybar, so that it makes sense for me to have the keys in the polybar area where they're not distracting to anything else that I'm doing and hopefully not distracting to the video that I'm recording right now. So with the file set, I'm satisfied with the file, I simply close the dialog. I'm gonna go ahead and close screen key right now. So it's it's gone and you see that there's nothing happening, nothing's showing up on the top of the screen as I type. Um, now you might be noticing that I'm, I'm, I'm basically doing um, them key bindings from the, the bash prompt because I've oh, set my, set my bash environment to use by as opposed to standard default emacs. I find the key bindings are a little more comfortable for me that way. So what I, I'm going to do is I'm going I'm to launch into uh, NeoVim and we're going to find a file that I edit with my sim links. Sim links. Uh, sim links. There it is. Git dot files bash bin sim links. That's the file we're looking for. Turn folding on really quick. So what we're going to do is we have the ability to, uh, we can either create them, delete them, or default. So if I do nothing and I just run sim links, then it will delete everything and recreate them. I use that approach most of the time because I expect this script to work. I debug it if it breaks, but I don't expect it to break any other program because I use quite a few sim links amongst the computers that I use. So in the sim link create function, we're going to find a screen key that I've already typed in. So you're going to see that I'm going to create a link to my .files directory, screen key, sk, screen key .json. And that will be linked to config screen key .json. I also have a delete section that simply deletes the sim link. So it will delete, it will delete the sim link when I want to run it. So what we expect to happen when we run this command what we expect to have happen is we would go into our git directory, git dot files sk. I've already seeded it, so I've already put the file there. So that is the file that I want. But if I were doing this from the beginning, I would do copy dash v dot files. So I do config and I would do screen key json. I just overwrite the file. Okay, so I just take whatever I just, whatever the screen key just saved when I ran shape, so show settings. Whatever that configuration was, I saved it, and now I want to update it so I can share it with my other computers. So on the left-hand side, we will um, we will clear the screen, and we will do an LAS symbol link, and we're going to see that there is no screen key set up right now. There's no screen keys link. So we're just going to blindly run sim link, and uh, sim links, and we're going to see that we deleted a bunch of things, we created a bunch of things, the one that we really care about is this one right here. Okay, so it looks correct. Let's do two commands. Clear the screen and we'll do the LAS again and we're seeing 
shrinky.json is pointing to this thing. If we also do las, uh, la dash la, ls minus la, what we're going to see is we're going to also see, see sim links, sim links, but had that sim link not been there, what would have happened is this would have shown up with a different color indicating that the file itself did not exist. So at this point, we should be able to do, um, we should be able to cat screen key, and key.json, and put an original file. Okay, so we've got a similar. So back on the other side, if we look at our, um, our, our NeoVim side, not NeoVim side, but the dot files directory, and I'm just going to go back into Vim, Vim and, and I'm going to ask Fugitive to tell me what's changed. The only thing I care about for this particular demo is symlinks. So what I typically do is I do a DVM file to see what changed. That's what I expected. I see the symlinks, they're just being ordered differently because I tend to sort things alphabetically. It's just easier for me to find things. So I did, ex I did expect to see a few things moved around a little bit just because of sorting when I edited this file uh, when, it, when I was on the screen. So I'm happy with that change. So I would simply go to the untracked file section and I would tell it to add that. So I've got the screen key JSON file is now under control and I'm also gonna add the sim, link, sim, sim links file. I'll do a configuration and I'm gonna say add screen key.json to sim links and I'm done. And I can get out of Vim with my super foot key. So I, you can see if I clear the screen again, you can see right here that I've got one item that I need to push. Okay, that's it. I hope you enjoyed watching. Press the like button, subscribe. Thanks.